Mr. Mayor, Council, hello and thank you for your time. My name is Tom Morris, I live at 111 Dogwood Drive, and I would like to discuss the downtown development. I've been a resident of Loveland for 12 years now. For 10 of them, I've also worked in this city. I've performed shows at the Loveland Stage Company, and even took part in the Christmas in Loveland event before it was usurped. To say that Loveland has been a noticeable part of my life would be an understatement. Part of the reason that I and many people I know in this city moved here was because it was a quiet, small town. If I wanted to live in a congested metropolis, there were certainly other options available. What made Loveland great to me was that it seemed to care more about its history and its people than its desired growth and revenue. Now it seems those endearing qualities are in danger of becoming extinct. I sometimes get the impression that this council has forgotten that they are not our leaders, they are our representatives. You are here at the request of the people who think you have their best interests at heart. We trust you to handle the operation of the city that we cannot do ourselves. We trust you to be responsible and not self-serving. And most of all, we trust you not to destroy the things about our town that we hold most dear. What little we know about the proposed city hall construction is ripe with problems, the biggest of which seem to be a severe and therefore seemingly suspicious lack of information about the project. Again, you represent the people. This project should be done because it's what the people want. I have not met anyone from the city that is clamoring to live over city hall. To be honest, I've never met anyone clamoring to live over a city hall. Uh, I have not, uh, to, I have not met anyone in the city that wants to just finish destroying the historic downtown and remove a little green space that exists there outside of a park. Instead of talking down to the people to whom you represent, perhaps you should be explaining to us, like the voting adults that we are, why this is such a project that the city needs. There must be residents that have asked for such a project, for it to be pushed forward, and we should understand why they want it. All we're really asking for here is discussion, understanding, and compromise. We've been burned before by city construction projects like this, and we don't want it to happen again. The Loveland Station project is a blight upon this city and a nail in the coffin of the town that we love. It was terribly handled from selling the land to being auspiciously submissive about changing the laws that the residents wanted in order to appease a single developer. Instead of being patient and finding a developer that wanted to preserve our town's culture and obey its laws, the city was far too eager to give everything away and now we're stuck with a very cheap looking building that is just as much a logistical nightmare as it is a visual one. We went from a place where the city could have used their publicly owned property for a myriad of purposes to having massive traffic problems and a parking lot that is far too eager to make a quick buck by towing the cars of parents trying to watch their children perform at a show. After such a bungling debacle, we the citizens are understandably wary of any claims of caring about what we want for our cities or any claims of fiscal responsibility, especially when the proposed project could be worse. If losing well over a million dollars on the land wasn't bad enough, we then lost hundreds of thousands more trying to quiet the trains to assuage the people that were somehow shocked to discover that Loveland Station, right by the train tracks, had trains drive by. Issues like this should have been discussed and resolved before construction began. I've also heard the term legacy project associated with city hall construction, and I sincerely hope that is not the case. I don't think anyone would want their legacy to be such a negatively perceived project. Furthermore, it's important to think that any public servant would be trying to achieve individual glory at the expense of their constituents. If anyone here on any side of the equation is pushing a city project forward for any sort of personal gain, they should be utterly disgusted with themselves on a daily basis and not be a part of its, our town or its government. At the last city council meeting, many council members voted against having multiple public discussions about the city hall project. Your attempts to chastise any oppositions were not met with subservient because we aren't dumb. We're aware that having a public hearing is a state-required step to move forward with the project, and the point is we don't want to do any step that could allow this project to move forward until we've understood why it was necessary. Again, we want to know why this project has to proceed, especially why it has to proceed so quickly. The secrecy and expedience makes this entire project seem increasingly corrupt and not in our best interest. For such a large project, we deserve better than a state minimum number of hearings and with a state minimum sized community improvement corporation. Why must it be done so quickly? Why is leaving the building as it is so forbidden? Why, what deficiencies do the current structure have that, the build, that this project remedies? And are there other options available that can fix them in a more efficient way that preserves our town, our cultures, and our finances? Talk with us about this project in a way that we know has no possible ulterior motives. Give us an opportunity to be for this project and not vehemently opposed to it. Loveland is a very smart community that isn't a fade of change or compromise. It's alarming that our council does not seem to reflect that. So trusted council, I'm sure you can hear the crescendo of anger that is growing ever louder about this project. Loveland is not a burgeoning metropolis. There are other cities for that. Cities with the roads, parking, infrastructure, and most importantly, the demand to tear down the past in favor of a more industrialized future. The phrase historic Loveland is not meant to be an ironic reminder of a better time. I ask you, Mars, I interrupt you. You have exceeded your five minutes. Can you wrap up here in the next 10 or 20 seconds? Yeah. I, uh, I ask you as a resident, a taxpayer, and a voter, and someone who wants this town to be the best it can to please sit down these gunnets and rampant construction problems and engage the community more in such a time that we're in agreement with the city and the direction we'll take. 
Uh, Mr. Mayor, Council, please take these ideas to heart and remember that you're here to help us achieve this greatness. The true success of this project will be as it's seen as a success by all of us that brings us together instead of tears apart. Thank you again for your time. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are.